Hi, I just want to say to those of you who cannot celebrate Mother's Day for various reasons, you are not an orphan. You are not an orphan because you either don't have a mother or you don't know your mother. I know we all have them, physiologically speaking, but there are many of, many of us who have that experience of not ever knowing who our mother was or wondering why she didn't care enough to keep us, wondering if there was something wrong with us and why they didn't want us. Well, it's not always the case. I want to share some insights with you, okay? And I hope God really helps heal your heart as you hear this. There are many, many, many people who go through such hell in their lives. They just can't process motherhood. It doesn't mean that they wouldn't love you and wouldn't want you if they were either in their right mind or if they were whole emotionally. But remember the old expression, hurting people hurt people? Intentionally or unintentionally, unfortunately, that happens. So I'm saying this to tell you, don't beat yourself up. Don't sit there and say, well, I must not be worth anything if my own mother didn't want me. That, there's no truth in that, baby. There's no truth in that. God wants you to know that you are beautifully and wonderfully made, that he made you in love. No matter how you came into the world, no matter what circumstances you came in under, no matter what type of mother you had, God loves you with an everlasting love. And I hope one day you really get to experience his love because when he gets in there, you will have your need for a mother's love totally fulfilled. Okay? Um, I had a mother that I thought didn't want me through most of my childhood, honestly. And it hurt. It hurt big time. But I want to tell you, God healed all that. He took me through a healing process, through dreams, through, oh my goodness, uh, I'm touched because I'm grateful right now. I could have spent the rest of my life feeling unwanted, unloved, and rejected. And God took me through dreams because I asked him to heal my heart of all of that. And he did. God helped me experience something that my mother couldn't give. He gave me a dream where my mother wrapped her arms around me, something I had never experienced in real life. And when she wrapped her arms around me, she squeezed me to her as if she really delighted in holding her baby in her arms. I never knew what that felt like, you guys. It felt so beautiful. It was like a dam broke inside of me, and all of this emotion gushed out. And I said to her in the dream, Mama, this was all I ever wanted from you. <laughs> Well, in my real childhood, I got a lot of criticisms and a lot of rejection and a lot of feeling like something was wrong with me. You know how that goes when you get verbally um, reinforced with a lot of negativity. The negativity came from her heart. And I'm saying this because I'm asking every single one of you who never knew a mother's love in, a, in the form of cherishing, in the form of a mother delighting in holding you and showering you with her love and affection, playing with you and toying with you and kidding around with you. Uh, some of us don't know what that feels like. Some of us don't know what it's like to sit on mommy's lap and clown with her and she clown back. 
we don't have that experience. But I want to tell you that whatever it is that you always wanted from your mother, ask God to give it to you. And I'm telling you, one dream, one dream alone with your mother, orchestrated by God, can fill that need for the rest of your life. And you will never, ever, any longer feel as if you missed out. Because God will shower you with his love, his affection, his acceptance through the physical being of your mother manifested in your dream. And you will, at least once in your life, for the rest of your life, have the mother of your dreams and have all your deepest desires and longings filled by the love of God's manifestation through your dream. He will heal you of those those feelings of rejection. He will remove your feelings of, of, um, of worthlessness. <laughs> I'm telling you, I'm from experience. God will do that for you. Start asking him. You'd be surprised the kind of things God wants to do for us. But you know, most of us have not. Because we ask not, it doesn't even occur to most of us that God can even do that kind of thing, that he would even take the time. Well, let me tell you, we may not hear it across the pulpit. We may not hear it on Christian TV, but I'm here to tell you, I know firsthand God will give you the mother of your dreams through your dreams in order to heal your heart, mind, body, and soul and bless your future with a newfound confidence and a newfound self-esteem. God bless you and happy Mother's Day as you find, as you find your healing and your fulfillment. God bless you in Jesus' name. Amen.